everyone, I hope you're well. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to dye your hair pink. Again, with some different products this time. I will leave the first video of this series in the down bar. I used the Pixie Lot Paint to dye my hair pink. Um, it's pretty much all faded now so I thought it was time to do another one with another set of products. So I popped into Superdrug recently on the hunt for some more pink hair dyes and I found this brand. I'd never heard of this before but it is the Colour Freedom kind of hair dye brand from Knight and Wilson. These were on offer in Superdrug. I think they were £6 each, but it was buy one get one free. Or was it buy one get one half price? I can't quite remember. But, so I picked these ones up. So I picked up the Ultra Vibrant Non-Permanent Hair Colour in the shade Pink Pizzazz from the Colour Freedom range. Um, and if you use it by itself, it will come up like this, like a really super dark, vibrant pink. But if you mix it with their pastelizer, it comes out like this. So I thought I would try this today. To be honest, I'm thinking you could pretty much use any kind of conditioner to make it into a pastel shade, but I thought I would pick this one up as it was on offer. So this is the pastelizer deep conditioning professional formula and you can use this with any hair dye to make it more of a pastel shade so I'm really really excited to try these products out. On first impressions I love the fact this is extra large it contains 150 ml of product and for someone with a lot of hair um, I definitely think I might get through the whole tube hopefully not because I've got the pastelizer in with it um, and they also do a whole range of other shades so I think there's a lot for everyone and I love that it's in super drug and it's quite affordable it's like you don't need to buy crazy colours online anymore you can just pop into your local super drug to get them so yeah I'm going to use this I'm going to play it all over and we are going to transform my hair to pink okay so I have shampooed and combed through my hair and it's Kind of like towel dried. So now I'm going to mix the products up together. Okay, so it says one part of the dye to 20 parts of the conditioner. I am not that great at mathematics, so I'm just going to go with it and see what happens. Mmm, smells good. And then maybe that's good for hair dye. We'll see. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This looks like a good colour to me. And it smells delicious, so I'm going to go ahead and apply it. And from last time, I'm going to start at the tips, because before I started the roots, and the roots were so much darker, and I think I'd prefer more of an ombre effect, so I'm going to apply this to the root, to the tips first, so that if they do go a bit more dark, it isn't as kind of obvious. So let's do this. Oh, I've also put on an old shirt, and there's um, some gloves in the box as well, so I'm going to pop these on. I'm probably going to give up on the brush as I did last time and just massage it in because the brush takes way too long. It's a nice colour actually, it's a, a lot nicer than the Pixie one looked in the bottle. The Pixie one was like gold whereas this one is a nice kind of pastel so you know what you're going to get. Okay, so I think I've applied it everywhere now. It's a really nice colour, I love it. So it says I think to leave it in for 15 minutes to half an hour so I'm going to go and make myself some lunch and then I will wash it off and show you the results. I'm excited. Okay, so it's been a while. I washed my hair, I curled it, burnt my leg in the process but we are done. I really like it. I think it's again going to get taken used to because it is a lot darker than the last and I haven't had my hair this kind of dark in a really long time and again for some reason like the last it's um dyed kind of my fringe a lot darker than the tips of my hair I don't know why that is I think it might be because this hair is really old and maybe it's had a lot of conditioner in it and so the color doesn't take as well I'm not entirely sure but the process of applying it was really really easy I wasn't exactly sure how many parts conditioner to mix with um the hair dye but I think I probably did one quarter hair dye to three quarters conditioner and it came out like this. So it is quite pastel toned. I think it would be even a nicer shade once I wash my hair again. I'll be interested to see how long this one lasts because the, lo the last one lasted like one wash and then it was mostly out. So I'm hoping this one will last a bit longer because I feel like the dye was a bit more pigmented and a bit more intense. It smelt really good. It was easy to apply. I left it on for about... 
20 minutes, half an hour, so a little bit longer than it said. It said if you wanted a pastel shade, just leave it in for 15 minutes. Um, but I am glad I left it in for that long, as otherwise I don't think the ends would have taken as well to the colour. But um, what do you guys think? Leave me a comment in the down bar. Do you prefer this shade or the last? Do let me know. I'd like to know if you would like to see me go any more colours apart from pink. I'm happy to try anything. And I will leave links to everything in the down bar. Again, this isn't sponsored. I just wanted to try the product out. Please be sure to subscribe and thumbs up and I will see you again next weekend. Bye!